The Grand Theft Auto trilogy is honestly one of my favorite sets of games of all time. Grand Theft Auto 3 has a very special place in my heart because Grand Theft Auto 3 did something that nobody else did at the time. It was this open world game where you could basically do anything that you want. If you want to be violent, you could just run over all the pedestrians. You can get a prostitute. You can go to a strip club. You can, there was just like no negatives to anything that you could do. You would just die and be able to restart it again. You could also play passively. You could follow the traffic laws, do everything to a T and not partake in any of the missions. And, um, you know, some people sort of played it that way for fun. You could just enjoy the radio stations for hours on end and um, listen to many of the, the humorous uh, takes on, you know, modern society. And Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition was supposed to be a moment where we could replay these games, remastered, redone, in better quality than ever before. And it has been an absolute mess. Rockstar has actually come out and talked about this. Let's read their statement really quick. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. I appreciate you watching and hopefully you'll uh, you'll subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. So I don't know where I want to start. I don't know if I want to read the Rockstar statement or the reviews first. So I, I think I'm going to just I Google Grand Theft Auto Trilogy reviews, right, to to see what we could find here. And uh, GameSpot Rockstar's remaster trilogy is appropriately an absolute car wreck of creative neglect. And I would agree that that is accurate. Push Square review Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy Definitive Edition, a stain on Rockstar's record. Where do we even begin with the GTA Trilogy? Uh, this one doesn't have a, a comp. We already read GameSpot. Uh, Destructoid review Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy the Definitive Edition. To be blunt, Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy the Definitive Edition is a technical mess that shouldn't have been released in its current state, I would assume is the next word. Um... PC Invasion, we reviewed the GTA Trilogy, or try to, given the myriad collection of bugs on display, come wade through the muck and see the mess for yourself. Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the Defender Edition, should should have been an easy win, but the collection is ruined by serious technical issues. I'm, I'm guessing these last words. Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the Defender Edition, brings back some Rockstar classics, but do they still shine in 2021? Okay, that's just a bad pull quote. Busted Nostalgia is their headline. All of which is to say that Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the Definitive Edition is upon us. And once you're done reading the title, <laughs> okay, that one that one wasn't worth reading. So basically, uh, the remasters feel less stable than the glitchy originals with a lack of additional detail. And honestly, um, I'm just gonna, gonna plug the IGN review here because it said something so clearly. I, I really encourage you to go watch it. It basically said... Not only do they not live up to Rockstar's legacy, it feels like a slap in the face to diehard fans and a, something like, jeez, he just nailed it so well. Go check out the IGN review of the, the trilogy because the final quote on that is really, really good. You know what? whatever go read it on IGN right now because uh, he just nailed his review and I was really really happy with how he how he phrased it at the end because it summed up how I felt about the trilogy the the trilogy really meant a lot to me I actually played through Vice City and GTA 3 ahead of this to sort of remember what it was like and have that context going in and then playing the remaster I started on the switch was just abysmal uh, there's a major frame rate issue on the Switch that where it doesn't run at an appropriate frame rate. It's stuttery. It dips really, really low. It is, it's a technical disaster on the Switch. And then uh, the console version, the console versions have a, a little bit of a different problem. Largely, they play okay, um, but there's a lot of bugs, especially with San Andreas, which honestly, it's a really important game in the series because of the, the story told and like the level of, of hype for that game. Like... I was alive when San Andreas was like being pre pre hyped and launched and all that stuff. And uh, the level of hype for that game was insane. And just it became a part of pop culture. And to see that game come out and something as basic as the RGB values getting messed up. It's just it's 
It's not up to Rockstar standard. It's not what a consumer should expect, and it should have been handled better. So Rockstar has been called out for days on all of this, and here's their response, and I wanna talk about why this rings so hollow for me. So Rockstar released this response, and this is the official uh, uh, website, it says, a note from the Rockstar Games team re Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Hi, everyone. I want We want to provide an update regarding the unexpected technical issues that came to light as part of the launch of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition. Firstly, we want to sincerely apologize to everyone who has encountered issues playing these games. The Grand Theft Auto series and the games that made up this iconic trilogy are as special to us as we know they are to fans around the world. The updated versions of these classic games did not launch in a state that meets our own standards of quality or the standards our fans have come to expect. Here's the thing. They built marketing for these games. They've released several trailers for these games. You're telling me Rockstar never played them? This rings so hollow and it's just such a slap into the face. It feels like their hand got caught in the cookie jar trying to trying to make this what feels like a cash in by the way it's developed by grove street games hand, handling their port you're telling me there's no qa whatsoever on the rockstar side who base like you turn on san andreas and within 20 minutes you anybody who works in video knows there's a problem any normal consumer who doesn't turn on the brightness on max in all of their games just by default is going to recognize that there is an issue with the black values in those games. The intro of Grand Theft Auto 3, the rain effect is nightmarish. That is literally the first thing that you see in Grand Theft Auto 3. But okay, I guess Rockstar realized now a week after launch, after scathing reviews, oh, I guess this didn't meet our expectations. Cyberpunk did this. Cyberpunk does, didn't get a pass. I'm sorry, Rockstar, you don't get a pass either. We have ongoing plans to address these technical issues and to improve each game going forward. Great. They should have just launched in a better state, though. Why can't why can't people just launch games not disastrous states? Like... With each planned update, the games will reach the level of quality that they deserve to be. They deserve to be that at launch. A new title update is on the way in the coming days for all versions of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition that will address a number of issues. We will update everyone as soon as it is live. You shouldn't have a whole industry telling you that your port is garbage. This sort of stuff should be caught by you before you release the game. Like... It's infuriating. It just feels like pandering. Oh, we didn't realize. How did you not realize? How? How? I don't understand how that's possible. I don't understand how it's possible. And I don't believe that this wasn't an issue to bring up. It. It's like, release it, we'll patch it, it'll be fine. 20 minutes, five minutes in the Grand Theft Auto 3, you can tell the rain is disastrous. So anytime it rains in that game, you basically can't play the game. And I believe the rain effect was across the first three games. Um, there's there's more issues than that. There's performance issues when you play on different modes of the game. So I'll try and get through this, but I, I'm pretty upset because Grand Theft Auto meant a lot to me. You know, before I was in the industry, before anything, the Grand Theft Auto series just it deserved better than this, right? A new title update is on the way in the coming days for all versions of Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition that will address a number of issues. We will update everyone as soon as it's live. In the meantime, it pains us to mention that we are hearing reports of members of the development teams being harassed on social media. Well, don't do that, obviously. Never do that. We would kindly ask our community to please maintain a respectful and civil discourse around this release as we work through these issues. Of course, never harass developers individually like don't you don't go to people's house and yell at them for bad games you just you don't buy them do not buy the game <laughs> well one of the goals of the definitive edition was to allow players to enjoy these games on modern platforms for many years to come we also understand that some of you would still like to have the previous classic versions available for purchase so this is them so this is them saying hey oh yeah so this is really bad 
by the way, I played through the, uh, the, the older versions with, I believe it's the essentials mod on all of them. And it plays pretty good. Some of the arcade controls are still there in three and, uh, the controls weren't great, but the essentials mod is a great start. And honestly, I quite enjoyed my time with those old games and even with the buggy controls, because whatever, if they would have just used that mod <laughs> as a basis, right. And updated the, the lock on mechanism and controls like that should have been your base. And then the graphical stuff afterwards. And what is up with that rain? Uh, well, one of the goals of the definitive editions was to allow players to enjoy these games on modern platforms for many years to come. We also understand that some of you would still like to have the previous classic versions available for purchase. Yeah. Hey, so um, we will be adding the classic PC versions of Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas back to the Rockstar, Rockstar store shortly as a bundle. Additionally, everyone who has purchased the trilogy, the definitive edition for PC from the Rockstar store through June, June 30th will receive these classic versions in their Rockstar Games Library launcher at no additional cost. We still update everyone as soon as these are back in the Rockstar store. Once again, we'd like to thank everyone for their patience and understanding while we work through these updates to ensure the game meets everyone's justifiably high standards. Why wasn't everyone's justifiably high standards, the bar that you set for the release date. It's, this is a, look. <laughs> How are you like the biggest company in the world? Rockstar, they are a mega company. They are known for polish and craftsmanship. How do you let something like this go out the door with your name all over it? It, it is a hand in the cookie jar situation. They got busted hardcore. We should not be QA testers of these games. This should have been caught during the development process. And now you're like, oh, we're sorry. Here, hey, you can download the versions of the game that aren't awful. <laughs> if you want to play those, we'll give them to you for free even as a sorry. It's just like, like how, how often is this going to happen, right? Oh, our bad. We we already made our money, but we want to make more money. So whatever. I don't know. I, I'm so disheartened by this. This is incredibly disheartening. Anytime a developer comes out and they launch a game in such a disastrous state that could have been avoided. They could have just delayed it. There is no reason Grand Theft Auto the trilogy needed to come out in this state. There is zero reasons it needed to. Rockstar could release this any time and make oodles of money. It's it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. It is it is not fair to consumers that I have to imagine some like what was it an investor thing? Why would you think that this was good? Good enough to pass? Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I'm I'm pretty upset because uh, I love Rockstar and Rockstar has made some amazing games that I have adored. I I adored Rock, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption was amazing. The original Grand Theft Auto trilogy. I even like Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto 5, of course, has this, this storied history. And then here comes the, the trilogy, and it's just awful. And it's like, what happened here? What? Why, why are these things in the game? All right, anyway, that's enough out of me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these sort of videos, hit that subscribe button. If you like angry videos where I get mad at the industry for doing what feels like greedy things, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. Uh, if you want to become a member, memberships are turned on. Thank you so much to the members who support this channel. Hopefully you've watched this ad free as I upload it again for all members. If you want to become a member and say, hey, Destin, I support you, click that join button. Thank you so much to everybody who has done that. Thank you so much for watching as I look down here to press the outro button. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now, everybody.